me. Firstly, I appreciate the content and all that you're doing. My partner for sure likes to be dominated when in the mood and has expressed liking to just being bent over the kitchen counter, etc. at random. However, the thing I struggle with is timing around that engagement as it only works when she is in the mood for it to happen. Yet for it to work as I intended, I need to know when she's in the mood without asking if that makes sense. How do you know when to make those right moves and when to hold off? I'm concerned if I try to get the timing wrong too many times, it will just become all a bit weird and forced. I also do struggle to finish quickly, so having a quickie is a bit tough sometimes. Hoping the new supplements will help. Again, I appreciate this opportunity and can't wait to try out these new supplements. Uh, so you don't have to orgasm for it to be for it to be a quickie. It could just be you bending over the camera. So you don't have to come for it to be a quickie. And she doesn't have to come either for it to be a quickie. It could just be a quickie. Uh, and that also actually builds a bit of sexual tension. If you just bend her over the counter and, and bang her for five minutes and then you don't come, and well, maybe she, maybe she orgasms. Happy days, fantastic. But if you don't come, you can just pull out, stop, and go back to work. Go off. All right, I've got I've got work to do, mate. And you can just go off and do something else. You're kind of giving her blue balls in a way, and it's kind of and it's kind of a good thing too because she's going to be like randy and horny for the rest of the day, um, which will keep her in the mood all the time. Which kind of leads to your first question. However, how do we how do we initiate that sort of stuff? Well, the way I I mean, I kind of just. I do it with you all the time without even thinking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the lovely lady behind the camera here. But the here's an easy way to test. Walk up behind her, put your hands on her hips, and kiss her on the neck, and gauge her response. If her response is like like a moaning, sighing, like, oh, that feels really good kind of response, I'd say that's a pretty good green flag to go ahead and, and you know, proceed. But if she's like, maybe she's in a bad mood, or she's, she's like stressing out about something, she's in a rush, and she's like kind of shrugs you off whatever okay well that's an obvious sign that she's not really like she's she's in her head too much to even like enjoy herself right so I, I so in a way you're kind of starting it with foreplay if that makes sense to like, I, I never really thought about it this way before that's kind of, it's kind of what I do naturally anyway you're starting it with foreplay to initiate the quickie right so that you can then bend her over the counter and take her but the foreplay is like a few seconds of just kissing her up and down the neck and like grabbing her on the hips and you're gauging her response to that. If she gets like a smile on her face and a little cheeky, like cheeky grin on her face, then that means she wants to be taken at that moment, right? But if she's like, yeah, again, if the, if the body language is cold and she's shrugging off, then it's probably not the time. So, good question. I like that. 